Hey what's up guys, before this Battlefield 3 info video begins, I have another question for you guys to answer in the comment section below, and the question is, which game do you enjoy more, Battlefield Bad Company 2 or Battlefield 3, and why? So I'm interested to see what you guys have to say because there's been a lot of uh, talk about which game is better, Bad Company 2 or Battlefield 3, and uh, if you guys have any other opinions that you want to voice out, uh, there's always more room in the comment section below for that. And if you guys find this info video both enjoyable and informative, all I ask in return is that you click that like button and uh, favorite this video. And also sharing this video helps. You can use that share button right below the video. And uh, subscribe to my channel for more Battlefield 3 content and news in the future. Hey what's up guys, I got some more Battlefield 3 news for you guys today. This time regarding spectator mode, private servers for console, and more. So, a lot of people have been talking about spectator mode and staying, saying how it's not going to be introduced to Battlefield 3, that it's a definite no-go. However, Daniel Matros, who is a community manager for Battlefield 3, has stated that there is still hope that it is not an impossibility for spectator mode to be introduced to Battlefield 3. And by introducing spectator mode to Battlefield 3, it would definitely help out Battlefield 3 in the competitive scene. The reason being is because right now if you toss Battlefield 3 in MLG, it's not going to go down well. Why? Because there is no spectator mode, and spectator mode is what makes uh, it work in the competitive scene. Um, just think about how game battles would go down on Call of Duty if there was no spectator mode. It would just, it wouldn't go down very well. So, um, also Battle Recorder could fall into this category as well. Uh, Battle Recorder could be and uh, not be an impossibility just yet and there still may be hope for both Spectator Mode and Battle Recorder to be introduced to Battlefield 3 in, in the near future or sometime in the future, hopefully in the near future. As for private servers, um, a lot of players have been asking about that as well. Why can't they play with their friends on a private server and just have some fun in Battlefield 3? And uh, one, of, one of the DICE members has stated that they need a green light. Now a lot of people automatically see this they say, oh, they need a green light, that's it. it. The update is made, they just need the green light to push it to Battlefield 3. However, this could mean two things. They could be saying, we need a green light to uh, push the update, it's already made, we just need a green light for it to be pushed to Battlefield 3. Or they could be saying, we need a green light to start working on this update uh, for a private service for console. And Tim Kjell, which I don't know if I pronounced his last name right, but it's literally spelled K and Gel. So put those two together, how would you pronounce it? Um, he's the gameplay designer at DICE, and he stated that it was a time thing. They didn't have the resources for that before launch. So this is basically him stating EA wanted to compete with Modern Warfare 3. So EA had Battlefield 3 rushed towards the release date. That way it could compete with Modern Warfare 3. And in that, in that uh, situation of rushing Battlefield 3, Spectator mode, private servers, battle recorder, and a lot of other things were not included in Battlefield 3 just so that they could release it to compete with Modern Warfare 3 and in turn make more money for EA. Which EA did. You know, EA made a lot of money by competing with battle with Modern Warfare 3. Because by by creating this whole war with Modern Warfare 3, a lot of Call of Duty players uh, got attention drawn to Battlefield 3. Uh, just by, you know, the Call of Duty players saying, oh Battlefield 3 shit. And the Battlefield 3 player saying, oh, Battlefield 3 is going to be awesome. And you see that in the comment section and the video is getting millions of views. That's more potential customers for uh, EA. So, you know, they, they put money in front of a quality game, which is something that uh, they should not have done. And that's why I believe EA is the problem. Because uh, Tim K. Jell has also stated, most people at DICE want to say loads, but can't. They want to, to communicate with the community. They want to be able to share all the information they can about these updates. However, EA is stopping them from doing that. And that is a huge lack of communication still, even after that whole Battlefield 3 blackout uh, situation went down. As for shotguns, a lot of players have been stating that uh, they are happy with seeing that the shotguns, the, the slugs in particular, are going to be getting a damage increase. And many also think that accuracy is needed uh, for a buff. A an accuracy buff is needed, not the damage. Um, however, one fan did say damage buff means nothing because they still can't hit anything on the move. And Kurtz replied by saying one step at a time. It may be that we need to buff accur accuracy for slugs, but first I'll see how the damage buff works out. In my opinion, I think that he should have buffed the accuracy instead of the damage because um, if by a chance the damage is just too high and now we're dealing with an overpowered weapon um, then that's gonna be more time uh, 
to be frustrated for the Battlefield 3 players. So let's say they released the update. Now Battlefield 3 has overpowered shotguns because of the damage buff. Now Battlefield 3 players have to go through this whole new phase where the, now it's not the USAS that is overpowered, it's the freaking slugs that are overpowered. Um, because the accuracy is already shit on the on the automatic shotguns and the shotguns in general. Um, when you're on the move, it's just you can't hit anything. Uh, you heard what the fans said. But um, the damage doesn't seem to be that much of an issue. So if they fix the damage, if they buff the damage and not buff the accuracy, then that could tip the balance towards shotguns and uh, in the game. So we'll just have to see what happens when it comes to shotguns and hope that it's not going to be an overpowered or, or an issue at all. Now, as for semi-automatic shotguns, Kurtz has stated that semi-autos will have a lower one-hit kill chance compared to pump-action shotguns, but they should benefit from the jamming bug fix. Uh, for those of you guys who don't know what the jamming bug fix is, you know how you have uh, semi-automatic rifles and pistols and, and all that, and you try to shoot really fast with it. However, sometimes it, it seems like it's not consistent, like it would feel like it would get jammed. Um, they fixed that. It, in, the, in the patch that's coming up, uh, it will no longer happen, and this will benefit semi-automatic shotguns. However, it will um, this whole having a lower one-hit kill chance compared to pump action will not benefit the semi-automatic shotguns. That way they won't be overpowering. And um, also, the spread was reduced from 4 to 3. Now the spread for the semi-automatic shotguns is now 3 at base. And that's a 25% increase. And Kurtz has stated that it's even more for the flashé rounds. So, uh, by this shotgun um, fix and buff and patch and all that they've been doing with the shotguns, especially the USAS, I'm happy about that. We'll just hope that uh, it's more for the better than for the worse. And it seems to be that it's for the better. And Kurtz has stated that his goal for the shotguns is to make the shotguns feel less random and more consistent. And as for Comrose 2.0, lots and lots of PC players complaining that it was not included in the list. However, the DICE members have stated that the list is not complete. There's still room for more uh, changes to be made, tweaks, buffs, whatever, things added, uh, innovative ideas, anything to be added to that list before the update is actually pushed for Battlefield 3. So that's all the information I got for you guys today regarding Battlefield 3. If you guys found this video both enjoyable and informative, all I ask in return is that you click that like button, favorite this video if you really enjoyed it, and subscribe to my channel for more Battlefield 3 content and news in the future. Till next time, peace.